Welcome back to Levi Stadium. We continue tonight with a Division I quarterfinal matchup with two teams from Stockton. St. Mary's comes into the week 9-2 on the season, having won the Tri-City League Championship. The Rams travel across town to take on the Sac Joaquin League Champions. That's right. The Edison Vikings are the fourth seed and are led by senior running back Jalen Blackshear. Mattress Firm wants to find you a mattress that is your perfect match, and each week we scour the section for the biggest game of the week. This week, Edison and St. Mary's is the Mattress Firm perfect match. Parker Reed coming to you from Stockton, bringing you the showdown between Edison and St. Mary's. And let me just tell you, it was hard for me to see the ball in the air, but imagine the receivers, Frizandra and Dusty. I don't know how he came up with that. Dustin up those defensive backs, but St. Mary's got the stop, and the star QB, Cruz Herrera, drops back and does what he's done all season long, scoring touchdowns, this time finding a Siri Danielson 6-0 Rams. Let's get an Edison answer in these highlights, though. Next drive, Aiden Carr to Jalen Blackshear, 50 yards down the sideline, and he is gone right past my camera. That helped in this foggy night. 7-6 Edison. Matthew Kane kicked the field goal to put the Rams up 9-7, but on the ensuing kickoff, it's Jonathan Taylor. And no, I don't mean the Colts running back. The Vikings electric kickoff returner. He has a house call. Touchdown Vikings. I told you to come down here. I told you. We had to three minutes to go in the first half. The four-star UCLA commit Jaden Marshall takes it up the sideline and one swift cut right here leaves the defender on the ground. A 50-yard run for the score and the Rams are back on top 15 to 13. Addison added a touchdown before the half to make the score 20 to 15 at the half. In the second half, Herrera takes it, a handoff up the left side for Jason Calvin and he goes into the light but emerges in the best way in the end zone. Touchdown Rams as they go up 23 to 20, down three in the fourth. Edison driving and plays like this will help out a lot. Carr unloads one and what a catch by Dosti again. This would set up this field goal by Eric Rodriguez to tie things up at 23 apiece with nine minutes to go. It's Asante Carter who takes the handoff right here to the right side and he's got open space in front of him. Wow, 29 to 23 and that would be your final as St. Mary's pulls the win out the only question left is, how do you guys feel? Parker Ream here at Edison High School. You know, it was a foggy night, but they got it done. St. Mary's, they took the dub. Jaden, you, you said that he deserves to be named in the discussion for the best quarterbacks in California. Oh, yeah, easily. Uh, let's, go, let's go to you first. What do you think about that? Man, come on now. He makes plays everywhere. He make any. He can make any throw on the field. He can run the ball. What can he do? What can he do? Come on now. Like, what, simple as that. what can he do? Let's go back over to Cruz. You know, all season, it seems as though he stayed composed in the clutch. And he did it again yes, today. Of course yeah. what, what does this win mean for you guys? It's huge. I mean, like we just keep saying, we coming back Monday. We coming back side. Monday. Put it back. Uh, like Big O said, Elijah Yeremia, he's a dog, by the way. He uh, was like, I'm not oh. turning in my gear Monday. I'm not turning in. Yes, and we all on the same page. Yes, we put on coming back Monday, going to work. All right. And then finally, the game winning touchdown from Asante Carter. Yes, Could could hey, could you see in front of you heading to the end zone right there? Oh yeah, that, that's my offensive blocking. Right there. Oh yeah, I gotta I gotta oh, thank yeah. them on the block. I can't I can't do it without them. So you know. All right, let's hear let's hear from St. Mary's once more. Your winners.